Prescott Van Meyer III here, sommeliering from home. Today is a special episode as we have a sponsor, Mr. Black Cold Brew Coffee Liqueur. So Mr. Black roasts the beans and they distill them. So they cover the whole process from start to finish with this product. And their coffee is excellent, used all over the world. And since they have such a reputation for quality around the world, they have a lot riding on this. I'm not just saying that because they paid me. It's actually true. And they paid me. For those of you wondering, they use 100% Arabica beans for all their coffee, but they weren't happy with just coffee. So they did the sensible thing and put it in vodka. So that I can get behind. This is a beautiful bottle. I can see it being a wonderful addition to your liquor cabinet or up on a shelf. Has very nice fine lines to it. Simple Arch Deco design. Oh, it's got this eye here. Well, maybe it does look down on people a little bit in a good way, challenging you to be better, to treat yourself right. It's an Australian product, Down Under. Not gonna do that this episode. The coffee beans are hand-picked. They say it's rich and complex, and that's great they say it, but I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> they can make the claim, but they gotta follow through with this. With this mouth. This product comes in at 25% alcohol or 50 proof, and that's a really nice level for just a sipping cocktail. You just pour this over ice, or they have another recipe right on here, an ounce of Mr. Black or an ounce of whiskey on the rocks. That would be a little bit more robust of a drink, but sounds very enjoyable to me. It's got a little bit of caffeine in it, letting you know that they use a real coffee. Probably not enough to replace your morning beverage, unless you're in Australia and it's 8 a.m. And as they say down under, this cocktail's not gonna drink itself. It's a clear bottle it comes in, but it is a very dark liqueur, just like I like my coffee in the morning. Super dark with vodka in it. Again, with that coffee, not sure when you start drinking this, right? Doesn't really make a recommendation, so I'm sure it's good all day. Fun fact for those people returning to the office, vodka does not change the color of your coffee, just your attitude and your outlook on life, which is why I do it. All right, let's give it an open. Safety seal. I wonder if this is gonna spin in the opposite direction. Nope, nope. Same old lefty Lucy. Hmm. It's a very rich and complex aroma coming out of here. So that is accurate on the side of the bottle. Don't need to fire whoever wrote that. I was worried. Anytime someone might lose their job, I get very nervous. But not this guy. This smells very local coffee shop and not that corporate swill. I'm gonna open up this bouquet a little bit more. There's almost a smokiness letting you know it's authentic coffee. So that opened up the alcohol a little bit. I mean, again, it is 50 proof. So there's a serious amount of alcohol in here for a cocktail coming right out of the bottle. Here's an idea for a wake up call in the morning. Just have some of this in a glass. It'll perk you right up. Leave it on the nightstand. You don't even have to get out of bed. It's right there for you. Now sponsors normally give you talking points. I always throw them away. <laughs> I find them pretentious. But they did tell me that this coffee is used at the Savoy in London. I spent a week there at a wine conference, learning a lot, drinking the coffee all morning, and boy, this takes me right back to happier times. Back to simpler times. My career on the correct trajectory. Learning things, being open to new experiences, wearing shirts like this all the time. I don't remember using the word budget ever, <laughs> or dollar menu, or I'm a nickel short. Will you still take 387? I'm getting hints of buying the crypto at the dip selling at the peak, like Chadwick does. <clears throat> it had dipped. I bought it, and then it kept dipping. So, and then he bought mine, and it went up. <laughs> so now I owe him $15,000. Oh, he's gonna collect, though. He'll send Dean after me. Anyways, back to Mr. Black. Cold brew coffee liqueur. I think it's time to give this a little taste. A little sweeter than I imagined it to be, but that roasting flavor really comes through. The vodka is very smooth, so it doesn't overpower or sting the palate too much. Very nice flavor to it. So it's a little sweeter than I thought, but still that would make for a perfect cocktail, just poured over ice. I'm sipping that. Or if you're in Karen, you know, straight from the bottle. Does it pour well from the bottle? It 
It does. It really does. And when it's sponsored, I also just drink it. <laughs> that is amazing. It is uh, very rich and very complex. It has beautiful notes of Arabica beans, handpicked from around the world, is what I assume. It's not what they told me, I'm just assuming that. Because of the high quality that comes with the Mr. Black name. Like I said, I ignored the talking points they sent me. I think it's exquisite and robust and a tremendous addition to any connoisseur of coffee or liqueur. But again, I'm saying that, not them. As I like to say about all my sponsored products, go out and buy 10 units of it, regardless of what that is. Buy 10 bottles of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. Hopefully you bought 10 mattresses, but the PV3 stamp of approval, well, that's got a lot of value to it. Might even try to turn it into an NFT. Chadwick explained to me what an NFT was, but ooh, I still don't get it. Well, who would be drinking this? Hopefully you. Someone who enjoys a smooth, rich, complex cocktail, and who really wants to help me out. Because I need it. So badly. I would pair this with a morning Danish. Reading the financial section of the newspaper to see how your crypto's doing. Or the finest tiramisu that Venice has to offer. Believe me, it's good. I mean, I haven't had it in quite a while, in mean, previous life. But I can just kind of imagine it. Hmm. It's delish. Would have been even better with this. <laughs> uh, but alas, regrets keep piling up. So for my rating, Mr. Black Cold Brew Coffee Liqueur gets an 83 for its smooth complexity. And because they paid me, they get an extra point, bringing them up to an 84. I don't sell out, but I do great on a curve. You're welcome. I mean, if you think about it, 83 is pretty good too, especially considering they're not even owned by a celebrity. Normally that's a good way to get a little, little score bump, because <laughs> uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt. But I mean, integrity matters. No, I'm trying to give flavor notes that are accurate, you know, and also transparent. That's why I told you it was a sponsor. <laughs> I didn't hide that fact from you. They are paying me.